here. So we're gonna cut out his part. It was it wasn't important anyway. Okay. Good morning. We got plenty of room down here in the front if you need a spot. Good morning, eighth graders. Okay, we're going to get started here in a couple seconds. Good morning, Aquinas. If everyone will quiet down. Today we will start our assembly like we do with all things, with prayer. So at this time, please stand for the morning prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us as we strive to welcome all our students to be part of our school community. God bless those who feel excluded. Give them faith, give them love, give them the knowledge of your welcome. Open our hearts to move swiftly within your grace, to hear your message in silent words, to glimpse your glory beyond our sight, to find your wisdom in simple truths, to accept our weakness in your strength. Let us join Christ in breaking down those walls which separate us from one another. Let us all truly feel that we belong. Amen. For all those intentions we hold in our hearts and written in our book of intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join me in the Our Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas. Pray for us. St. Basil. Pray for us. St. Joseph. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Good morning, Aquinas. How are all of you uh, this morning, this wonderful morning? Welcome to the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. We've got a great show planned for you today. We've got a great show planned for you today with some very special guests and some amazing segments, so stay tuned after this commercial break. I'm getting word we're legally not allowed to make ad revenue off of this, so we're just going to cut right to the show. So, Kenzie, I hear that Aquinas played a great game last Friday. Sadly, I couldn't be there. Could you tell me a bit about it? Yeah, so our football team actually won against Fairport 42-14. to And may I add the cheerleaders did really great too. (laughs) 
Um, speaking of football, we actually have another game Friday, the Friday Night Lights game. Um, and the theme is going to be Hawaiian, so come out to support. And if you participate, you could be featured on our Aquinas Student Life page. <laughs> So speaking of great sporting events, I also heard that this past Friday the cross country team competed at the Dash in the Dark at Oakfield, Alabama. Uh, the relay team of Jake Weepert, Lucas Sharon, that's me, and Sean Weepert finished 32nd out of 75 teams. Jake Weepert finished in the top five out of 220 plus runners. That's amazing. While we're on the subject of Fridays, I would like to mention that this upcoming Friday, which is September 17th, Student Council will be collecting $5 for school year holiday dress downs. That means if you pay $5 on Friday in quiet money, you will be able to dress down on Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, St. Thomas Aquinas Day, Cinco de Mayo, and the Friday before the Super Bowl. Don't forget to pay if you want to dress down on those days. Thanks, Kenz. All right, it looks like it's time for our first guest of the, the night, um, the, the morning. Uh, right now, we invite Mrs. Easton to the stage. How's it going, Mrs. Easton? Good morning. All right, so I hear that Art Club is going to be starting up soon. Can you tell us a bit about that and what Art Club is and exactly what do you do? Yeah, so we're really excited we get to do Art Club again this year. Um, we weren't able to do it, of course, last year, the year before. It got cut off. Um, so Art Club will meet on Tuesday afternoons from 3 to 4 in my room AC22. I did create a team, so if you go on Office 365, you can join that. We're going to have lots of events, um, lots of activities such as ceramics and pottery, digital photography. Uh, Mr. Neighbor will do some stuff with AR, VR, so it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, one more question. Yeah. Uh, if you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, you guys might not know this, but anything by Soundgarden. <laughs> Thank you. All right, very nice. Well, if anyone has any more questions about Art Club, ask Miss Easton, so thank you. Uh, moving on, we have a few general announcements concerning signups and other clubs and activities. Uh, Ken's, can you tell us a bit about Ski Club? Yeah, so if you're interested in Ski Club, you can scan the QR code on the screen and fill out the form courtesy of Miss Gianta. This QR code will also be broadcasted tomorrow on Morning Update, so don't worry if you don't catch it right now. Lucas, can you tell us a little bit about the baseball season coming up? Uh, yes, uh, there will be a quick baseball meeting Monday after school in the Field House for anyone that is interested, uh, anyone that will be attending fall ball workouts. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. Maniosi. All right, so moving on, um, Mrs. Melton wants the school to know that the library is open for study halls, so come on down and check out a book. She also wants us to know that woman leadership will be starting soon. She'll be making announcements with more details, and if you are a sophomore or junior this year and would like to join, please see Mrs. Melton in the library. All right, thanks. Now I think that we have time for one more guest. Uh, right now we'll invite Mrs. Barber up to the stage to tell us about the upcoming theater season and auditions. All right, it's a pleasure to have you with us, Ms. Barber. Now, can you inform us a bit more on the whole logistics of the fall play auditions and what the fall play is? Absolutely. Uh, so last year, we were doing a scaled back COVID theater season. This year, we are with precautions, hoping to be back in force with live audiences and the whole nine yards. So we're really excited about this theater season. Uh, we are doing our fall play is Dracula. So it should be good spooky fun, lots of stage blood and Victorian costumes and fog. All the good stuff. Uh, our, wi our winter musical is our middle school musical and that is going to be Matilda, which is a fantastic adaptation of a really fun story. And our spring musical is our high school musical and that's going to be Legally Blonde. So that should be also really good fun. It's gonna be a season full of absolute nonstop fun. And I really would love to see all of you participate in it. Uh, anybody age, uh, grade 6 through 12 can be on the crew backstage for any of those shows. So if you are interested in helping out with costumes, with props, with sets, with uh, sound and lights, any of those things, you can participate in all of those shows. Uh, if you want to be on stage in the cast, 
We will have high school actors in Dracula in November. We will have high school actors in Legally Blonde in March. And we will have middle school actors in Matilda in February. So I will always come back and let you know when auditions are coming up. Speaking of which, the auditions for Dracula are coming up this week. So if you are a high schooler and you would like to be an actor in Dracula, you should sign up for auditions which are happening this Wednesday and Thursday. You have to choose one of those two days to audition. You don't need to come to both. And all the information for that is posted on the bulletin board, which is outside my room. My room is AC21. That's on the second floor of the Art Center. Um, if you don't know where it is, uh, hopefully you can ask somebody. It's right next to Mrs. Easton's room. So if you know either my room or Mrs. Easton's room, it's the bulletin board right outside those. Um, and if you catch me in the hallway, I'm always happy to answer questions. You can also email me. My email is mbarber at aquinasinstitute.com or message me through Ensuite. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Barber. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, to make this whole kumbaya situation a little easier, for future reference on B weeks, such as this week, juniors and seniors will come to the auditorium for kumbaya, and on A weeks, like next week, ninth and 10th graders will come to the odd for kumbaya. Uh, this information will also be sent out in an email fairly soon, so in case anyone misses it. And shout out to Mrs. Kilman, sir, for this great idea. A quick yearbook announcement. If you want to design our yearbook, email Gwen Bushin at bushingw at aquinastrack.com with your interests. And or if you have pictures for this year's yearbook, you can email her as well. Also, if any junior or senior girl would like to sign up to play in the Powder Puff game or any junior and senior boy would like to be the cheerleaders for our game, please email Sammy Brescia at brescia.sa at aquinastrack.com. <laughs> All right, I think that's about it, Lucas. I, I think there's one more announcement. I don't think so. Come on. I don't think it's necessary. I, I disagree. I'm not going to say it. Please? Fine. Mr. Bianchi wants the school to know that Lucas is the man. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right, now that's all we have for you today. If you want to be interviewed on Kumbaya, talk to either Kenzie or me to be able to talk about sports teams and events, uh, theater programs and performances, clubs, and more. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's broadcast of the Way Too Early Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. See you next week. <laughs>